What's up everyone, it's Tim from Tim Plays Game, here with uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64. Just trying to get my bearings real quick. Oh, hold on. We're at Dodongo's Cavern. Uh, looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. It, no, I don't know why I gave her that voice, ew. <laughs> yeah, I gave Navi a different voice, it's kind of like a little stuffy. I think I have to go, actually I think I have to go left, but I can't. Yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta, go, I gotta go through the center, unfortunately. This sucks. Gotta watch out for the eyeball demon. Yeah, these things suck, because, well, they need bombs. And I can't lift the bombs yet. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Never mind. And you just destroy them by throwing bombs at them, and well, uh, then they have a b b bomb. <laughs> ba boom. Oh, okay, I forgot. Yeah, here's the weird thing about this dungeon. You actually have to switch between shield. Uh, you have to be careful about which shield you use because some of the enemies, like like this thing, you need like the regular shield to reflect back at it. I give up. If you let me go, I'll sell you a Deku shield. If it, yeah, no, I'll just remember that later. I'll remember that guy for later. But basically, yeah, you need the Deku shield in some areas, but because it's surrounded by fire and lava, uh, Deku shield actually burns up pretty fast. You know, what with it being made of wood and all. <laughs> wood burns, huh. Yeah, just a lot of fire enemies here, so I keep I, I recommend keeping the Highland Shield equipped at all time at most of the time. Unless you need the Deku Shield, then bring it out. Alright, we found our first treasure chest, and it is a ba 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 No, it is not. It is a dungeon map, okay. <laughs> Kinda waiting for that bomb bag. <laughs> and actually, yeah, in this dungeon we get the bomb bag. Which one of the most effective uh items in the game. It just comes in really handy, you know, whenever you're fighting things that only die via bombs. And be careful where you jump. <laughs> yeah, there's no jump button in this game, by the way. <laughs> I had a friend asking about that. How do you jump in this game? Uh, you don't. You walk towards a ledge. And yeah, that's how you jump. <laughs> there's no jump button. I mean, in other Zelda games just need like a you need like an item to make Link jump. I'm not kidding here. You need like a leaf or something. <laughs> kind of a weird item to make him jump. Okay, so this is the first uh, first part. I think we got a new boss right here, Dodongos, and they explode. So try to get away from them. jump at you too, so also be careful of that. Alright. Again, they, got, they go down with one strike. You know what I forgot to do? That's alright, it doesn't matter now. Actually, I don't think it's till later on that we need it. No way, we can actually, we can, we, oh, I mean we could use it now, obviously, but you'll see why in a second. Take care of those. Not, yeah, see, here, that's, that's what happened right now. Uh, my wallet currently capped at 99 rupees. <laughs> uh, if I There's an area in the game where you can get a uh, bigger wallet, but I don't know why they do that. Yeah, I kind of missed it. It's at the, uh, what, what's, it's what they call the Skultula house. We'll go, we'll go there after this. <laughs> I promise. Can we get ice cream? Fine, we'll get ice cream, then we'll go to the Skulltula house. <laughs> First I gotta run my errands. And by errands I gotta push this thing in front of the door. <laughs> so yeah, push that thing there, uh, pushes down the switch. I think it needs to be kept down too. Yeah, some of the switches in this game are weird. They have to be like kept pressed down. And we can just slingshot these guys. Uh. 
No. Does he target him too? It's easier that way. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, this is the mini boss battle. Strike? Not like that. <laughs> okay, the problem is you're facing two of these things. Oh! Yeah, watch out you don't fall down there. One will run away, the other will come back now. Right there. Come on, buddy. Oh, be careful about where I backflip. Alright, there's one down. He just... It's weird, he just kind of fades away. He doesn't, like, burn up or anything. Like the other enemies do. <laughs> oh, dang. There we go. I swear, I thought they dropped hearts. Okay, well. I'm pretty sure there's an area we, we can recover at right over here. Drop some hearts. Oh, nope, rupees. <laughs> well, darn. <laughs> oh, there are those hearts. <laughs> Almost went overboard. Okay, so that's that. Pretty easy, you just gotta keep swiping on them. Okay, next, this is probably the long, this is probably the most annoying part right here. A bomb. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Dodongos. Uh, th these are the bigger Dodongos. I think they're just called Dodongos. Now uh, you got two ways. You can kind of run up and slash them with your uh, sword, or you can. The problem is they burn up anything like right in front of them. So, and if you hit them with the, if you hit them with the sword, they'll just kind of. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what Navi says. Dodongo, watch out for its fiery breath. Use the targeting techniques. Slingshot won't do anything to them. Deku sword, the uh, Deku stick won't do anything either. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, two bombs should do it. And they explode too. I don't know why. <laughs> why did he explode? Why wouldn't he explode? <laughs> and there's two. Yeah, there's two of these things right here. This is the annoying one because I don't think there are any bombs nearby. We might have to just you know, go ape crazy on it with the sword. Oh, there's three of them. Dang it. They're... Why did I put three of them in here? Yeah, it's probably the cooler way to fight these things. Pretty oh, easy to dodge. <laughs> They're pretty dope. Oh, easy to dodge. Yeah, so four, oh, four sword strikes are done. Thankfully, they do drop a good, a good amount of hearts. Too bright. 
<laughs> Not too fast. <laughs> I'm over here. 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 <laughs> and you're dead. Right, next up. Oh. Now we gotta light torches. So we gotta do the torch run. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Cool. So we get three torches lit and we're good. That's why I keep those Deku sticks equipped. <laughs> And now we are actually back in the center where we were before, but now we can hit this switch, which is what we need to do to open this door. I swear we're going in circles. Be careful. These these things respawn, so. So just to save time, I'm probably going to go around them again, yeah. And don't worry about getting to certain areas of the map right now, because you'll be able to get there later. Oh, 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 oh. God, he's got that upper body strength. <laughs> Wish I had that when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah, these things, yeah, just if, you, if, you, if they, if you don't have a bomb bag yet, don't even worry about them. Just avoid them to, your best, to the best of your abilities. You'll be able to take them out later on. This is the cool part. <laughs> Love this part. It's weird because it took me a while to figure it out. But yeah, you can see there are a bunch of bombs surrounding this one, uh, bomb flowers surrounding this one area. And then, for some reason, one bomb flower just over here by itself. So what you want to do is you want to take this bad boy, press A to drop it on there. And even Navi will tell you, hey, this area looks like you can get bombed pretty easily with all these bomb flowers around. Yeah. So we light up those stairs like the 4th of July, and down they come. <laughs> that totally makes sense. <laughs> And then we can also uh, take, we can actually take these, this bomb flower right here. And anything that wall, any wall that looks like that, you can actually bomb it. And it'll break open. If you remember that we actually had one uh, back in, uh, back in, inside the Deku tree in the first dungeon. Oh. Okay, so this is actually the, well, not really a boss battle, it's just. Yeah. There we go. Watch out, because like every other freaking enemy in this dungeon, they explode. <laughs> Why is everything so explosive in this game? It's a nightmare scenario. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see a lot of explosions. It's, it's like this is—I call this the Michael Bay dungeon, because <laughs> everything explodes. <laughs> God, why? The, who climbs these stairs? Like, I got a freaking. I need real upper body strength to climb these stairs. Giants live here or something? Okay, school tool is. Okay, we've got the slingshot. And the okay, so there's one. And that's just regular, regular school tool. It's this one up here we want. This is a gold one. Up. Okay, there we go. One. Two. And remember, we can actually climb these things, so... Climb that, get a gold Skultula, and drop on down. Now, there's another area over there we can't get to just yet, but we will eventually. But, yeah, it's, we might have to come back later, okay. Now here's this is why I say equip the Highland Shield because you got these things. These are a new enemy. They are the, remember those bats we were fighting earlier. Well, these are the worst things ever. <laughs> They're fire keys. They'll burn up their, your shield if you get too close to them, and they will attack you at ra ra random intervals, easily making them one of the most annoying uh, uh, bad guys in the game. <laughs> How are they on fire and still living? <laughs> I just like to think that they're flying around like, yeah! Put me out, put me out, put me out, put me out, put me out. I'll put you out of your misery, don't worry. Okay, I forget which one it is. That one. <laughs> I'm gonna say that one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 
Yeah, sometimes you can just lead them into it. Okay, there might be more than one. Yeah, sometimes they can move, sometimes they're in, they're bad guys in disguise. Okay, so that opens those door. I think that that opens both those doors. This tell me there. Yeah, there was okay. Okay, so we are now actually. I really wish we had a dungeon map. We do have a dungeon map. Why am I not seeing it? Yeah, we're back in the center room. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, but we're on the second floor right now, so that's good. It's like we're going in circles. I swear. Shoot these things. They're annoying. Across here, get to the other side of the bridge. Wide link across the bridge, get the other side. Thank you. <laughs> There's no looking down in this game. Uh. Uh. These things are annoying. Yeah, I, I can see that. You never know what'll be around every... You never know what'll be around the corner in these narrow paths. Use Z-targeting to allow... To always look to the proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I remember sitting there waiting for one at one point. <laughs> Grab the freaking ladder, dude. Come on, it's right in front of you. Grab the freaking ledge, Marth. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, okay. Yeah, I think I was supposed to find something that I didn't. Oh, wait, never mind. Found it. Stop giving me rupees, I don't have a freaking wallet. <laughs> They're just disappearing. Now comes the fun part, where you gotta like, throw it just far, or you can actually wait, you can time it right. Like, wait till it starts, like, really, like, rapidly flashing. There we go. Oh, right. No, oh, wrong one. Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. Throw it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Pick it up. Z-target the thing. Uh, a little long. Okay. A little later. Trial and error. Here we go. Perfect. See, so yeah, just like that. <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, uh, like, I am the all seeing eye. I am the brother of the all seeing eye. All you have to do is not shoot. Okay, never mind. You shot me in the eye. Yeah, it's like, come on, there's something gonna happen here. Long tunnel. Yeah, by the way, that thing had a time limit, so. You, have only, you only have so much time to cross before the fires go back up. Oh boy. Alright, round two. This time we even hit even more. We have less. And this is why I heavily encourage getting like some type of recovery item, like the bottle of milk or a fairy bottle. Actually, a fairy bottle would be better. I can't move. Thankfully, I have both. Let's save right here. <laughs> Oh. 
Keep your back to this door. Hey, you still got one left! Yeah, I know. I can count. Alright, time to drink up. Milk bottle's better, in my opinion, because you get two sips out of it at this stage in the game. Later on, the fairy bottle will be way better. Because it actually, it actually uh, save your life. <laughs> Literally. Alright, so that's done. Yeah, be careful there, it's a little... What's, what's the word? <laughs> treacherous. There we go. Ah, oh, boy. Very treacherous. Okay, now... <laughs> Guess we gotta go back. And I fell off again. <laughs> Thankfully, <I don't laughs> this is going to be a long night, guys. <laughs> Okay, now I'm back to where I was before. Trying to fall this time, Tim. Could really use these two hearts. <laughs> Alright, on we go. So I convert. So now we're gonna do it just like before, but this time it's got like an added twist. Okay, all seeing eye. Right, the people. Now we got an add layer. This guy. Ow! <laughs> I had two eyes. You knocked it, and you shot both of them. Way to go, dick! I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> So yeah, we're back in the room now. Yeah, we keep double backing around to like different rooms and stuff. It's kind of weird. Okay, up here we have another treasure chest. Yeah, try not to ignore this. Ooh, what's inside? What's inside? Can't wait. It is the bomb bag. Fine, a freaking Lee. This bomb bag is made of, of is made from a Dodongo stomach. Charming. <laughs> Found 20 bombs inside. Sweet, it comes with bombs. Yeah, it wouldn't be much of a bomb bag if there weren't any bombs inside. <laughs> wait, hey, wait a minute. This is just a normal bag. <laughs> I've been juked. <laughs> be careful when you throw them, they bounce for some reason. Even though I legitimately think they shouldn't be able to bounce. Alright. So I think here we actually need... The, well, yeah, we need the shield again to fight these things. But these are actually business DQ scrubs. Oh, wrong button. Ow. And your 
turn. Come on. Alright, so now they'll, they'll be peaceful now. Yeah, I surrender. In return, I will sell you a, a Deku nut. <laughs> Five pieces for 20 rupees. He, so he sells Deku nuts. We don't really need them. Alright, you win. In return, I will sell you Deku seeds. 30 pieces, 40 rupees. There you are. So yeah, if you ever need Deku seeds or Deku nuts, yeah, come back here. I just want to show this off real quick because it's part of the... Dun oh, oh boy. Yeah, be careful when you, uh... If you, uh, be careful if you activate bombs. Please tell me I don't have to go all the way back. I gotta go back around. <laughs> just never ends. Just keeps looping back around. You want to do this quick because you only have so much time before they light back up. I mean, th thankfully it's it's a good amount. It's a healthy amount of time. Yep, so to the point where you don't need to be super fast. All right, so now we're back on track. And thankfully hit that switch because that this happens right now. Could have really used that earlier. <laughs> where it'll basically ri it'll, ra it'll raise you right back up to uh, this top part. Okay, so oh, hold on. No, don't don't climb it. We need to read it with, with your with your eyes. <laughs> Giant uh, Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open between the sheets. <laughs> yeah, something something me and my friend did. It's the old uh, fortune cookie thing, uh, where you say between the sheets or or in bed. <laughs> okay, so three bombs need to be placed. First place one right here, obviously to break this door open. And I think that I think that tre that treasure chest is just more bombs, which is kind of weird. I don't know. We'll find out in a sec. You want to stand really close to this edge, then drop one in. That bombs the first die. Kind of hurts. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and you can just do that too. That drops the second bomb and the second drop, uh, second drops in the, in the eyes. Yeah. That opens the door to the next part. So all this was just to open to that one door and get bombs. Okay. In here, I'm pretty sure there are bombs. Nope, rupees. Exactly what I don't need. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely recommend you get that giant, that, that bigger wallet. But we'll talk more about that later. Oh, yeah, and there's no lob in there. You can just, whatever. <laughs> and don't worry about these things. They're easy to beat now. Leave that right there, buddy. <laughs> is that a bomb? Hey, that looks like a bomb. <laughs> Boom. I was right. It is a bomb. Yeah, a couple other side things we can get real quick. Uh, we can finally blast open this door. I mean, I guess we could just use the bomb. And this... Yeah. And if you hit him with the sword, they actually, it's, it's kind of weird, they tell the time. Boing, boing, it's 746! <laughs> like, why do we need to know time? Okay. And that's not real world time, that's in-game time, just so we're clear. <laughs> okay, so moving on, we're back with the fire bats. I hate these things so much. And try to take them out with your slingshot, I don't know why I use my sword. They're almost, always, they're almost guaranteed to hit you. Thank god I have such great aim with this. <laughs> And anytime you leave these room, these rooms, they're gonna respawn. I don't know why. It's just annoying. So annoying. 
Okay. Oh, dang it. If you accidentally throw a pick a bomb out, throw it. That should go without saying. Okay, so this part's weird because if you look at the map... Yeah, this part actually loops back around. So yeah, we need to go forward. Again with the fire bats. You can try Z-targeting him, it works sometimes. But again, they, they are at quite a distance, so... Yeah, Z-targeting starts to fail a little bit at such a distance. for this next part. Got it. No. Grab and push. There we go. <laughs> I think for this next one, yeah, we can just... Actually, I think we can just run right up to it. Yeah. It's kind of weird. They have these blocks right here. I'm not sure why, though. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to go into this room. And there were a couple areas I kind of, I kind of missed. But yeah, that's just to save time. Okay, now this is the area where we can actually get a gold, uh, gold skull tula. With the bomb, with the bomb bag, it makes defeating these things much easier. And he dropped bombs, so that was actually a net game. <laughs> oh, of course, the fire bats are back, <laughs> and the ball, the blocks are back where they were before. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Hate these things. Leave, leave me alone! <laughs> Good, you done picking on me now? <laughs> Easily the most annoying character in, uh, uh, villain in the game. Yeah, I think I would give him the title of villain. <laughs> Enemy, bad guy, yeah, all, all words apply. Seriously? Get back here. Ah, oh, I hate you. <laughs> Okay, eat and run. Got it. Diamond dash, whatever. Maybe you just miss a fairy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> oh, I hate these things. I hate them so much. Get over here. Where are you? Great, now that they're not on fire, I can't see them anymore. Right, here they are. Yeah, how do you like that? I could always come- also, you can just always come back in here later if you need to get the extra stuff. They have some treasure chests, some of it's necessary, some of it's not. I think I got all the necessary stuff. I think I, I think I need a boss key, I don't know. In some games they do a boss key, I just can't remember if this is one of them. I don't think so. Okay, door's open. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that is the boss. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> Let's do this! I mean, we got what we need. We just need a bomb and a sword for this, ne this next part. Alright. Just 
couple things that we can actually get in here. If you have full bombs, drop one of them here. That opens that area. I think this uh, treasure chest right here is a little bonus. Kind of give you an idea of what you need to do. <laughs> okay, so you definitely have full bombs when you go in here. Because this is the boss battle. Oh. Oh boy. Oh dear lord. Oh wow. You are the ugliest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so you target. And starts doing that sucky thing. <laughs> You only get, get one strike. What you want to do is kind of run to the corner right here. Basically, he has two main attacks. Those are his two main attacks. Try to suck it. Now, we'll try to suck in and, like, breathe out fire. Oh, watch out. Yeah, try to get to the corner as soon as you can. I think you can actually crouch with the Highland Shield and block that rolling attack. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. You got not down. You got not down. Four sword strikes is all it takes to bring this thing down. It's not much of a boss. In fact, I'm pretty sure Queen Goma was that was much more difficult than King Dodongo. What make what qualifies as king and queen in this game? Being extremely flammable, I don't know. <laughs> Just being bigger. <laughs> it's like that. It's like from Invader Zim. Uh, Dib realizes that they're the, the tallest, or the leaders are the tallest, and it's like that's it. Your leaders are just taller than everyone else. <laughs> that's basically how it works. Biggest dog runs the yard. <laughs> Five heart. Okay, so now we got another heart container. That gives us five hearts, so we're slightly less weak than we were before. And we are out of here. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Way to, way to make an entrance. <laughs> it's me, Darunia. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. <laughs> yeah, that's a good feeling right there. <laughs> what a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo's suddenly appeared in such great numbers. <laughs> and that big rock block in the cave... All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, Give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. <laughs> How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Now there's no big ceremony involved, just take this as a token of our friendship. Oh, good, the thing that I wanted. <laughs> Yay, the thing that I wanted in the first place that you could have just given me. <laughs> yeah, nothing's free, though. I don't know why. These things look like ring pops. Those like little... <laughs> they don't look like actual jewels. They just look more like candy. <laughs> you obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's, let's just ignore that part and just kind of focus on the mission. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? <coughs> 
You should go see the Great Fairy at the top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. <coughs> hey, everybody. Let's see off our brother. Ah, uh, this is adorable right here. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Ah! Social distancing! Social distancing! <laughs> no! Six feet or more! <laughs> Alright. Alright, um, let's see. Well, next video, we got a lot of side stuff to do before we get to that third dungeon, and you'll see why uh, later on. But, uh, yeah, that is basically gonna wrap things up for tonight, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time videos. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.